So you were asking me, how much do I love snake bits? Yes. And if you can allude to where that question is going, I'll have to <laughs> ask you once again, how much do you love snake bits? How much do you have? <laughs> More than you could count. Oh so. my god! I have to turn down Exalt's volume, though. <laughs> I'm calling it Exalt instead of Realm, that's weird. <laughs> it's like a different game. Rodham GX. Oh, it's not gonna load, is it? Because... I don't know, it's down right now or something. Is it? I keep getting... Yeah, an error. Alright, I guess I'm gonna regular realm it up. Oh my gosh, my Oreo is a freaking cookie. I was wondering what this thing was. Yeah, that, <laughs> I actually saw that in my vault, and I was like, wait, what the f- I don't remember having this, and then I was like, hmm. I saw the- that the cookie became an Oreo, but I didn't know that Oreo became cookie, too. <laughs> that was quite a twist. Yeah, there oh, it yeah. is. There it is. I hate it. Bro, imagine someone going to feed their pet and they feed the Oreo not knowing it was an Oreo. Oh my god, that could actually happen. God, I have to stop. Smoking weed, yes. Just in general. No, uh... <laughs> no. <clears throat> Don't smoke, kids. Alright, where we go? Like that time you took your high school photos? <laughs> it wasn't high school photos, it was graduation. <laughs> Like that time you did your graduation photos? Yeah, and everybody, my eyes were bloodshot because I got, like, medication in my eye or something. I don't know yeah. what happened. The medication was a green leaf called weed. <laughs> 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 no! Oh, T-Room, let's go. Oh, man, he, he found it. Yeah, they call me Jesus. <laughs> I don't know why they call me that. Yeah, it's a little odd. My controls are a little bit... I'm, like, tempted to right-click. Oh, dear. Let's go. What the... Dang! <laughs> is that old myth true? If you open keys, then you're more likely to get a tea room? I don't think so. Because uh, that was always a, uh... Like an urban legend, I heard. Whenever I started playing. Dang it, you came in the room with me, so there was no magic. <laughs> Just dang kidding. it. Three tea rooms back to back. That would have been really nice. Oh, uh, yeah. Uh, Dude, wouldn't it like, be sweet just, if backpacks I... could stack? Yes. Because it's still the same risk. So I don't really see how it would be broken, per se. Yeah, maybe have a limit, though, of, like, three. Yeah, this is just me wanting extra space. <laughs> yeah, no, I'm in the same boat. It does get obnoxious. There's nothing over there. But... If you lose that one character, then you would lose all the backpack, so... It's the same kind of risk-reward ratio. Yeah, no, I mean, it's a smart idea. Something to consider. Oh, he opened the pit. Uh, these guys can drop it too, can't they? Mmm... I don't... I, see, earlier I was actually wondering if it drops from them or if it drops from the tea room snakes. Well, it does drop from remember. the tea room snakes as well, but... Here, let me let me look it up. Standard quote. Okay, no, it does not. Did it used to? I don't think so. I think we thought it did. Did they do the same thing with the coffins in the manor? See, that's that's <laughs> that's another one of those things where I feel like that it was different and they changed it. Yeah. Dang, that's messy with it's like Mandela effect for <laughs> Rotmeg. Yeah, Berenstein Prot. <laughs> the Berenstain brought. The Berenstain brought. That's true. I forget now what I even. I'm not helping at all. I I should TP. Uh, no, you're good. I oh, found a dead know. end. I don't even know what my memory of the Berenstain Bears books is. Like which one I thought it was. So I can't even say if I'm in that same boat. Um, I remember scribbling on the front pages of them. That's yeah. about it. Oh, I mean, I remember the I had I had two books, I had the bike lesson, and the the Bear Scouts. How to urinate with your bare hands, part four. <laughs> How to bear and stain with your hands. Also I don't even know where to begin one. with that one, Yin. <laughs> what do you want from me? <laughs> your bike. What? Let's go. What is that? <laughs> I want your bike, Tower. Okay. 
Is that like a euphemism? No. It's ever since Christmas. What are you talking about? <laughs> you know, I'm so proud of you. You have not sang that song once since that video came out. Yeah, no, you know, I overgrew it. You overgrew it. Fascinating. Yeah, I overgrew it. I've, I've outgrown You don't even grow out of it. You overgrew it. <laughs> <laughs> See, I want to do that to you. I know what you're thinking. Ian, you're just saying that and you're about to do Why it. Why are you I'm such not... a slob? But that's not what we're talking about, so stop thinking that. <laughs> uh, it's a good time. <laughs> Videos. <laughs> Crazy, am I right? People are asking about it. Uh, I... <laughs> <laughs> don't don't give me that. I know they're asking about it. No, they're not asking like make video they're just asking like what's what's up? Is uh... No, that's fine. I get it. Well, yeah. I'm happy to say it is coming. It's not like it's this wandering dream. Yeah. I'm like, maybe it's like it's actually <laughs> happening. It's just one of those things that's going to take a little bit more time than I had anticipated because of bad timing. But yeah, yeah, I only recently caught a caught a stride again. Yeah, getting that flow is the best thing in the world. And granted, you know my videos uh, don't take as much time to make as yours, but even so, it is very important yes. to. One, take advantage of those strides whenever you get into them, but also learn how to try and put yourself back into that stride. If you can figure yeah. out what causes it, then maybe you can set up the conditions to recreate it or prevent yourself from burning out. It could be really easy to obsess and be like, okay, I have to work and work and work because I'm on a roll, and then you burn out, and then you end up not working for so long, when in reality you could have paced yourself and got even more work done and enjoyed mm -hmm. it. Well, right, like, one of my main reasons that I was so, like, not wanting to do it before was because after, I think one oh, day... Oh, sorry. I was talking... Oh, I saw, I saw, uh, yeah. <laughs> I was talking to my guildmate back when I first started, and uh, he was like, do you want to play Rome? And I was just like, I think I was working on the Warrior video. Oh, I was yeah. Like, nah. I was like, no, nah, I'm kind of busy. Like, uh, like uh, I'm kind of working on my video, and I noticed I was doing that day after day, like, working on that video, and, like, I started to realize, I was like, I'm using so much time on this, like, it's kind of, like, training. Like, I feel like I'm wasting my day, but it's the exact opposite. In fact, that's probably one of the most productive things I could have been doing, because... Right, but it is, I, it's like, all work and no play <laughs> makes correct. you an adult, yeah, adult boy. boy. Yeah, so, I get that, too. Totally. It kind, of, it kind of happened with me. And I, like, I started to notice that where my days were going. But that's not the way I should have been looking at it. The way I should have looked at it was, oh, this is actually really good for me. And it was. I just need to keep going. In, in that case, I definitely agree. But it is always good to pace yourself. When you start, right. you don't want to become yeah. a no man. Just like saying no to every opportunity. That's when it becomes a problem. But yes, but yeah, when you know yourself and you know that you're taking breaks all the time and you ha you haven't gotten much work done, and then you're like, you know what, time for a break. <laughs> then you know that you should probably buckle down and actually finish the video. But right, yeah. generally speaking, um, in in my experience anyway, and I feel like a lot of YouTubers are kind of like that. But it's really easy to obsess when you get into a rhythm of it anyway. If you're like oh, yeah. a JonTron and you already don't upload, you know, you upload like every month or every few weeks, I highly doubt he's, well, he's probably working hard on it, I'm obviously, but I highly doubt he's like obsessing on it. Oh my God, you said tea room. I didn't hear. Yeah. <laughs> I, I just didn't want to interrupt you. Go on. <laughs> but no, like you're right. It's, it's um, one of those things where it's like you just keep working on it and you feel like it's sucking away your life, but it's good for you. Like it's not bad. You know, voice crack. <laughs> it's not bad for yeah. you. It never changes. No matter how, how old you get. Mm -hmm. It's just using your voice in a different way. Like trying to go quieter right. than you can or trying to be. Well, actually, yeah. For me, it's trying to go lower than I am intended to go. Happens all the time when I record. Yeah, uh, honestly, I wish it wouldn't crack as much. Even like in voice acting, it does that all the time, but that's kind of to be expected. Yeah. 
What was Absolutely. that um pet? What was that pet that was following you? The butterfly. No, the other one. There's a pet? In the tea room, I saw something. What? Oh! Yeah, what is this thing? Um... What? The, it's like a decoy. Oh, that's from the entropy. That's the entropy? Oh my gosh! It puts out a decoy whenever... It, I think it's a 5% chance for a decoy. It's a 5% chance. Wow. Tea room? Yeah. Oh, it is so cool looking. I thought it was a pet skin. I'm like, oh, where did you get that? Oh, no, 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 no. I, I, I wish. know. It does look cool. I like alien stuff. It's it's weird because I've never been big in, into sci-fi. I don't know why. I love medieval. Medieval's your gem. Yeah, like sci-fi's good, but I've never been a big fan. That's why I never got into like Star Wars or Star, Star Trek. Yeah. It was a boss, but uh, <laughs> yet I love Lord of the Rings and I love Zelda. Yeah, and all that. It's yeah, yeah. Fun. makes sense. I don't know why. I think sci-fi grossed me out as a kid because mm -hmm. a lot of sci-fi when it came to like certain things was always like kind of gross looking like these like, like yeah. these alien races that were just like three eyes and stuff and it used to like scare me as a kid. <laughs> yeah. I didn't like it. That can happen. Yeah. So it just like naturally made me repulsed to sci-fi. I appreciate it now that I'm older, but yeah. Uh, yeah, we we can go back and vault. I, I'm taking six every time. Yeah, that's true. That's quite a bit. <laughs> Store up. Um, yeah, but it's just one of those things where you learn to appreciate it when you're older, at least for me anyway. You can still do it, definitely, as a kid. In fact, I feel like more kids do it, but yeah. then you also have man children. I, <laughs> I had an alien phase, sort of. I don't remember how long that lasted. Oh, you travel outside the United States? No, I don't even know what it was. I, I think I saw an episode of The Simpsons. Man, this vault's getting messy. I'm just throwing speed everywhere. <laughs> <laughs> it's like in a vault full of UTs. <laughs> and then there's just two random speed next to a chicken leg and a morning star. Oh my God. Yeah. I hate that my mind is getting messy yet again. Worst part is I can't even drink these speed. I have to start dropping them. Sadly, let me let me like uh, store up another character. No, but I had like an alien phase. I saw an episode of The Simpsons where everybody thought, or Homer thought he saw an alien, but it turned out to be Mr. Burns. And then it was like that was it. I was I wanted to learn about aliens. <laughs> mm -hmm. I bought a comic on eBay. I think I bought a toy of a of a spaceman with a rocket. And it, there was an alien that came with it, and then that was it. It's like one of the shortest phases I've ever gone through. <laughs> well, I feel like, especially with, like, young boys, it's like aliens and dinosaurs are bad, eh? They you are. Know? It's like, it's oh, just yeah. one of the, like, two things that that's are why, sacred as a young boy. That's why Pokemon was so popular. It's true. It's basically alien dinosaurs. <laughs> it's a combination. Yeah. Then there's more to it. I mean, you got ghosts, you got bugs, you got all sorts of cool stuff. That's true. You got dark type for God's sakes. What the fudge is a dark type? Uh, it's a ghost. <laughs> right? It's not. It's not? No. no, dark types are not ghosts. In fact, I think dark is good against ghosts. It's super effective. I need you to explain. Dark is not ghost. Dark is in its own thing that I have no idea how to explain. Can ghosts be a dark type? I mean, I'm sure there's there can be some morph. Uh, maybe there's a dark ghost Pokemon? I don't remember. Oh. Ghost type Pokemon. Ghost with dark. Dark. Let's see if I can find any. It's right behind that. That. Dark. Uh, <laughs> dark. So, so, Sableye is a dark ghost. Spirit Tomb is a dark ghost. You might not know about Pokemon, but you sure as for God's sakes know about Yu-Gi-Oh. Yes. Yeah. That's true. I, yeah. Probably as much as you know about Pokemon, I know Yu-Gi-Oh. Right. Granted, that's why you agree with me that Pumpkin, the King of Ghosts, is the most lit character ever <laughs> created in that game. I I don't know what my favorite card is. Like, I don't think I have a favorite card. 
like even art artistically speaking. I know you're too embarrassed to say Pumpkin the King of Ghosts, but you can just say it, dude. Like, no one here is going to judge you for it. <laughs> Got a giant poster of him. Yes, thank you. Um, oh, okay. Oh, whoops. That is the wrong way. <laughs> <laughs> no, I can't. I don't know what... What I really... There's a handful I really like, like Strike Ninja was one. Um... Beast of Talwar, of course. But like a favorite. A number Blackluster Soldier Envoy of the Beginning. That's a really good one. Oh yeah. I used I to have the Blackluster Soldier and thinking I was the hottest stuff in the school. Oh yeah, dude. Except whenever I was playing it, it wasn't cool. I was in middle <laughs> school and that's when you weren't allowed to have fun. Yes. I remember those days. <laughs> Middle school when you can't be a kid, but you're certainly not an adult yet. Yeah. I mean, we've had discussions about school before. We both know each other's opinion about it, but boy, howdy. Yeah, I was in a terrible place. <laughs> it's like, it's just the kids. I didn't mind anything else. But the children were not pleasant to be around. <laughs> that is, Ooh. like, some of them. I don't know. You could. There's definitely a crowd. There were the kids that... Don't care. Wanted to make your life there a living nightmare. Yes. It's not like I was. No, I was never like bullied or anything. I didn't even see. I've never seen bullying take place. As far as I know, it doesn't exist. But I'm sure, it does. Obviously, that, there wouldn't be so much awareness for it if it didn't exist. But it was just their attitudes, the general negativity. Uh, suddenly, you go from "I'm going to tell on you" to f words in the hallway. You know. Yeah. It's like such a contrast, and I did not like it. Like I was still playing with, uh, I was still playing with action figures until like halfway through middle school. Like that's when I grew out of it. It was during middle school it happened. I didn't go. I didn't show up at middle school and was suddenly <laughs> like all these other kids trying to be older than I actually was. Yeah. There's, I remember my Russian stepbrother was a lot like that too. He used to play with action figures a lot, when he, especially when he was in the bathtub. Don't mind my chuckles. Sup. Sup, chuckles. <laughs> Do you... What? You, you've told me before, you don't find your old videos embarrassing. It depends. It's maybe something I haven't seen in a while, and then it's, you know, fresh. And then I have to get used to it again. But, uh... But no, I mean, I, I, I grit my teeth through it, you know. <laughs> yeah, that's fair. That's oh, I got a acidic armor. Oh, nice. Ooh. Forgot you could get that from me. I, yeah, I had no idea you could. No, I mean, like, you shouldn't find your old videos embarrassing. Like, the way, the way that I want to view it is as if I'm watching it as my parents. They wouldn't laugh at it and be like, whoa, this is crazy, <laughs> you know. <laughs> Right. Like they'd be like, "Oh, look at him. He's having fun. That's awesome. That's my that's our son, you know." Yeah. And no, I want to definitely how you should view it. You should yeah, you should always view your past work with a with this candid eye of like, "Oh, look look at that." Like Bostrom is north by the way, but oh, okay. no, you're right. It's uh it's definitely one of those guilty pleasures of mine to go back and watch my old stuff that I really do not like anymore, but <laughs> <laughs> oh, I like. I can't say that about everything though. DK commits suicide was probably my magnum <laughs> opus. It opened you up. <laughs> it did. <laughs> it released oh, the floodgates of a bunch of other really stupid things down the line. <laughs> Very true. <laughs> but yeah, no. DK commits suicide. That is still the best video I think I've ever created. Aside from that, I think impressive. Uh, wow. Why the warrior is stupid? It's good too. Oh yes. Yeah. <laughs> Quite that's one I really enjoyed making. Wizard, Assassin, all those really. I, I really liked. I'm not proud of the night video, believe it or not. I. It was your first. It was my first. There's a lot of stuff in there where I'm like, oh, I could have edited that better. But Yeah, well, welcome to the mind of a creator. I am right, and killing nothing. I, I don't think most people are there for the edits. I think they're there mostly for, like, I mean, obviously some edits, but mostly just because they like jokes. Yo, we like jokes. <laughs> I tell a lot of them. Yeah, 
it's one of those things most people don't notice all the little details that we harp on but mm -hmm. for the people that do know oh man look at you for the people that do notice that's why we put those details in there to begin with yep exactly because a lot of times uh, it's the things that you don't notice that are the most effective like you don't notice something's a problem or you don't notice something is an enhancement until someone points it out to you and you're like, oh, wow, yeah, they did that. That's really cool. It's like a little secret. Yeah, when people point out stuff, like, you feel really good because you're like, I'm putting this in here, but I'm sure no one's going to notice it, but man, do I wish that they do. Yeah. yeah. Like, if I had mine that somebody called out at one point. I think it was, was it the Warrior video? I think it was where... Everyone's rushing the Oryx, and he's just like, no, this cannot be. And, like, a little bee just floats out and just scurries away. Yeah. Yeah, I think that's that's one of them. I, I forget which. I want to say... Must be Warrior. warrior. Yeah, because it's talking about rushing. rushing. Yeah. Yeah. This cannot be. <laughs> this can of bees. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah. That was a good time. Um, it's think, weird to, I've, I've already brought this up before, but it is weird to think of us before we knew each other. Yeah, it's, it's been like, a while. It has been a while. It's been like almost four years. Which is insane. But like, yeah, initially I shouted you out from one content creator to another, and now it's, it's like when Aaron and John became friends. <laughs> yeah, now it's like every Thursday we're wanking each other off and just playing around. All right, let's smoke that snake. Um. Yeah. Now, Talwar, <laughs> we're not at your graduation. Let me go back to the vault. Smoke some meth. <laughs> Great idea, son. <laughs> Father. Oh, God, I didn't want you involved in this. I wanted to do a a, a battle with. Dread Stump, a live-action battle, <laughs> like how I did it with John Bilgewater, but I couldn't find the time for it. I really wanted- I had to get it out on April Fool's, obviously. Yeah. Well, I mean, it would have been funny, but I mean, the- the I mean, the guy in itself was super successful. You're telling me. I don't know where the heck that came from. It's like the irony of it alone is a selling point. People wanted it, dude. And People I, genuinely well, wanted it. One of the things, though, that... Like, I can't believe it. In, in my, like, mind, the thing is, like, I would watch something like that unironically because I don't know anything about the pirate cave. I blast <laughs> through it so much that I don't know anything about it. True. So, like, if you, if I ended up watching your video and you're like, there's a captain and there's an admiral and there's, like, these ranks and this is why they do this and there's a hunchback? I would have <laughs> never known that. Yeah. I, I was learning that, too. Not many hours before you saw that video, I <laughs> I have learned new things as well. And that's Just why I brought them up. More depth. Yeah, one hundred percent. You could tell that the original creators, like Wild Shadow, were really invested with the stuff that they were doing with this game. Yeah, they had a. It's made for a dang contest. They had a vision. Yeah. So it's where did the project. where did the original sprites come from? The ones that are royalty free, Oryx. The guy, the name of the person that made the sprites was named Oryx. Really? And what did he make the sprites for? Um, they were just a free set that you could buy. Like, it wasn't for anything specific. He made it specifically to sell as like a licensed thing you could get. Wow. Yeah. That's cool. So, they bought, and his name was what, Oryx. Mm -hmm. That's so they named it after him. Wow. They named the final boss after him. I think that's really funny. <laughs> that is kind of funny, but it's also well, we know him as Oryx the Mad Guy now, so it sounds like an awesome boss name. Yeah. It's what like is it? Kirby. What What is an Oryx? I I forgot. Is it another an type animal? of creature? Yeah, it's some okay. kind of like goat looking thing. I don't remember exactly. I assume it's fictional. 
Yeah, I don't consider myself a master of biology. I forget a lot of these things. Yeah, I'm no meteorologist, but do you have a golden helm? Yeah, I don't have T6s. I'm not good with my abilities. I forgot that they... Oryx. Did you say when it comes to Oryx? Yeah, I'm not good with getting abilities from Oryx. Oh, T6. right. Yeah. Yeah, me either. <laughs> my luck is bad with that. Oh, yeah. I mean, everyone's is... I don't think luck is mutually exclusive. Or biased. Nice it's the better word. <laughs> I've never gotten Jug. and I've played the game for like eight years. I've only ever gotten two. I'm thankful to say I've gotten Ogmer. True. But... I've... Yeah. I've actually gotten the best Event Whites, but like none of the other ones. Whereas most people have gotten a lot of the other ones and not the good ones. Yeah. At least, like, I can be thankful for some things. And that's one of them, but God, like, I, that's another thing, right? Should, do you think that the items that are that rare should be that rare? Are you like, do you agree with that? If they were the best. Probably gotta make a video on that. Event Whites should be the best. <laughs> like, they're so rare. They should just be the best UTs in the game. Yeah. I don't think anyone would argue. And some of them are. Jug. Basically, like, the warrior plays himself at that point. Yeah, and you know what? An true. item that rare? Do it. Let it happen. <laughs> like, you deserve to be unstoppable. Mm -hmm. Can't trade for him anymore. Ogmer. It's not as broken as Jug, but it's much more oh, it's... powerful offensive capability. Yeah, people don't realize how big of a game changer Ogmer is. Like, people don't take into account how much damage you're doing when mm -hmm. you reduce a boss's defense to zero. Yeah, yeah, we don't realize how tanky someone is like, until we do that. Think about how scared you are of a, when a brute sits on you. Yeah, <laughs> that's and how they feel now. Think of, yeah, think about like that with a boss. Like That is the same scenario. Yeah. Very true. You kill them so much faster, it's insane. Ogmer, an Ogmer marble, marble, marble colossus. Oh, yeah. Is way different from one that isn't. That's true. And then we have the whole expose on top of that. Yep. You can expose enemies beyond going to negative defense. Yep. Don't you hate it when people say Samurai is a bad class? It's <laughs> it's because, well, we, we already, we we to, yeah, we, to, we talked about this. The best yeah. classes in Realm are the ones that suck because they're too good. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and they're not even too good. It's because they have a healer at all times. It's true. I mean, theoretically, well, that's what player caps are for, but theoretically, Theor oh, if you had enough priests and paladins or whatever healing, it would basically be like if you had a pet on you at all times. But the point is it just speeds. It, pets have sped us up to that point. So the game now has to adapt and catch up and, yeah. and change a bit, quite a bit. <laughs> so, but yeah, that's a... I just miss back when priests were valuable. <laughs> yeah, well, I mean, they're arguably unbeatable now. Yeah. It takes a lot to kill one. Yeah, unless you get popped by something. Oh, whoops, I ran into the boss room, but I will not attack it. All right, let's attack it. <laughs> we just completely obliterate her. I know. Like two seconds, maybe. Doesn't take long. Oh, a high tier. It's a snake skin. You know Yo. what that means. Mmm. I would really <laughs> like it. <laughs> Me if, too. I, I plan on making a video on this eventually as well. <laughs> maybe, maybe soon. I don't know. But of how I feel like every dungeon should have its own set. Like yes. the snakeskin set. What's with that? How come it's a leather armor and then a shield? And then no weapon. A bu bulwark. <laughs> Is that part of the set? I I'm going to blame old game decisions on that one. They what do you mean? know what they wanted to do with the game. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Snake is so old. Those items are so old. Yeah. It's funny, because it's leather class, but for a knight, and then a wand class. So it's, like, they don't match whatsoever. That almost makes you think it was intentional. Right, it doesn't make any sense. <laughs> yeah. Um, 
Abyss. I would love if we had like an Abyssal Demon set. That would be cool. Yeah, well, I, I think they've kind of tried to go in that route with the STs dropping from them. Mm -hmm. like the Magmatic. Mystic. Oh, that drops from there now. That's right. Mm -hmm. Which not the, not the staff though. The staff drops from Shaden, but yeah, they always they split them up. I I oh, I wonder about that with at, at a certain point. What is the difference between UT and ST? Like, it kind of gets to the point where we blur a line, where STs in theory are supposed to suck individually. Oh, did you Nexus for? Yeah. Potting back up? Okay. You, uh, STs are supposed to not be good on their own, and then you wear them all at the same time, and it becomes better than something else. And UTs are just good on their own anyway. Right. But then you have stuff like Etherite, Pixie Sword. Symbiotic um, Ripper. Yeah, that are really good. And so it kind of messes up the balance a bit. And they're, they're both full sets. But... I just, I feel like, I don't know, like there needs to be a stronger distinction between them. Or or yeah. just make ST sets really good. I mean, I don't really know, and some of them, a lot of them actually really are quite good, but something like the, the Marble set for the Marble Colossus. I almost feel like, why isn't that an ST? It all matches. Why not just make it turn you into a mini Colossus and give you bonus stats? Like what's really the difference there yeah it's a little weird the way that they do it now I, I think it's one of those things that they're supposed to be really rare so they didn't expect people to collect the whole set okay yeah i think it was more just like oh let's get them individual pieces because you know it'll help them somehow so they instead of a set and i think it was one at that point in time where sts were still kind of experimental yeah oh yeah totally so they probably were just like, well, let's just make it white bag. <laughs> True. And yeah, I'm not like pointing fingers at them saying they did this wrong. I am confused. What I'm confused is the fact that it feels a lot of the time like STs are 10 times rarer than white bags. Balancing a game, especially with this much stuff in it, it's not easy. I, I, it's like, you know, bless the people in charge of that. It's not easy. Like, I get it. You have to hold the company to a certain standard because you don't want them to just do a half job on everything, but a certain degree of understanding and constructive criticism is necessary. Let's drink a clover. Why not? Drink. I will swallow this plant. Is that how that works? Got to get it in there somehow. You're going to rub it all over yourself? How, else? <laughs> how does this thing work? I use it as a lubricant. Yes. Instruct me how. Also no. open the portal. <laughs> also open the portal. <laughs> how many of these do you have? Oh, hmm. why, why are you asking these <laughs> questions? <laughs> how many till bulwark? It is the quest. The quest for Bulwark begins. How, like how many till Bulwark? That could be a thousand. Could be. And we'll still not know. It doesn't mean it's one in a thousand, even if it takes you a thousand. It's true. <laughs> That's just... Speaking of the tricorn. <laughs> Very true. Actually, Boss. I wonder if it's possible to take something that's like a 50-50 chance, and if you are actually that unlucky... To where you you get it like you don't get it a thousand times in a row but it's technically a 50 50 chance it technically can but it's one of those things that's considered so so like impossible that it's considered impossible yeah even though it's technically possible that's why chance is so addicting that's why gambling's a thing mm -hmm. beating seemingly unspeakable odds well, I don't do the gambling thing, but those that's that's like way too too low of odds. It's like if you win the lottery, you are being blessed. Yeah. Yeah. The big one. Mhm. Mm 
Yeah, that you can't even get. You can't even start thinking about that. There's no way. It's way too low. I'll say the boss is here. Oh my gosh. The snake lady. Yeah. She's it's funny. Hot. It's funny how she's not called Medusa. You know. What do you mean? I don't know. I think Medusa is like the main character. The main. Yeah, character. I. <laughs> Yeah, it, I guess. Girl with the snake hair. And like the other ones, they could be called Gorgons or something. <laughs> it's a little weird that it's called Medusa, not Gorgons, yeah. Never I mean, really thought about that. Just because, yeah, Medusa's seen as there only being one. It would be like calling all the vampires Draculas. And, oh, Nosferatu, actually. They do that. Yeah. But. I mean, he's, I guess, the lesser known of the two, but even so, not a big deal. It's just kind of funny. Lil Feratu. Lil Feratu. Yeah, that's adorable. Look at his little, oh, look at him. He's trying to suck my eyes out. It's like whenever you try to walk down the street in New York City. <laughs> you have short people trying to jump on you and, like, suck your brain out. Yeah. Crazy cat ladies. Yeah. It's a shame, really. <laughs> it's just sad. Uh, boss? Oh my... Alright, yeah. I gotta stop pretending to be surprised when you get the boss. <laughs> Whoa, dude, that's crazy. Dude, it's he said the boss. <laughs> Didn't see that coming. Funny part is, I don't think Bulwark actually exists. <laughs> Do I think it was all placed into our vaults at one point. Yeah, it's a myth. It was a just legend. put into our account's coding, and then one day, the code was given to us, but it never actually drops. <laughs> what if they enabled matrix mode, so you could just see the green code everywhere you went? I guess that's kind of like yeah. the glitch in the you machine. would be really nice? If the game didn't crash. No. Well, that too, but... No, if uh, they let us see the drop rates. Uh, I mean, didn't they just release a statement on that? Did they? Saying, like, why they're not going to do that. Why did they say that? I don't know. It's just, like, to maintain the mystique of the game or something. I don't know. Yeah, that's kind of stupid. <laughs> I feel like old school RuneScape shows off the drop rates. Like, people want yeah. to know the drop rates so they're not, like, cons like constantly trying to search for a false hope. That's true. Minecraft has the chance of certain things happening, and you know it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Well, th it's one of those things where if they told me why they didn't do it, I'd be like, oh, yeah, no, I get it. And then you tell me, no, they should. I'd be like, you know what? You're right. <laughs> I can't pick a side. I just want both to happen. <laughs> like, I get it, but... Sometimes there are items where if you realize it's a little too rare, like, it's too much, you know? Yeah. Yeah, and that actually, uh, an item should never be too rare. I agree. Like, if an item is too rare, that means it's either not good enough, or it's literally too rare. But if an item is super good, like, I think Jug is as rare as it needs to be. Okay, maybe a little much, but, you know. I've been playing for eight years. It's, uh, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that might be a bit much, but out of all the items in this game, I'm glad that that's the one that's taken that. Mm -hmm. It at least makes sense. Although... Ogmer is, like, weird, right? Like, Ogmer feels rare, but it doesn't feel as rare as Jug. Probably because they had a freaking... the ice cave event. Yeah. So we're still coming off the coattails of that. Although that was, like, was that almost two years ago. It was crazy how many people are running Ice Cave for the we'll yeah. CP boss. I mean, it, it rakes in a lot of revenue for DECA, so. Okay. Yeah. I was looking for T-Room, but nothing. That's what happens when you have a chance at a fudging Augmer. Yeah, people jump at the chance. We jumped at the chance. I. You got Arguably, one, right? Yeah, yeah, I did. I got one. Yeah. yeah, me too. I think I stopped after that day. I was, like, my business was done. Well... <laughs> The funny part is that I I got one from the Ice Cave event, 
but they also had a two times a white event going on, and I got one from Lottle as well. So oh, boink, that's pretty good. But then I ended up losing both of them, and I'm pretty sure both of them were for very stupid reasons. <laughs> Dang, you lost you both know. of them. Dang. Yeah, remember I lost the one because the Lottle sat on me. Oh, oh, that's who you lost to Zalo. Yeah, I was not happy about that. Is that it was confusing because I thought you were saying the Lottle just with an accent. The Lottle. Oh, no. Like, <laughs> like, I don't know how you pronounce his name, but I just say Zalotl, but Yeah, Zalotl, Zalotl. Yeah. Um, no, he's, I still complain about it to this day because the the game, like, like cushions you to go into the center of the field because there's a ton of stuff happening on the outside during one of his phases. Yes. So you naturally lean, go, like, going towards the center and so i was standing in the center and then for his next phase he just zips right to the center and just blows up <laughs> for my next phase <laughs> yeah it was like that's it's so dumb like it should not cushion you to go into a phase where he could just instantly pop you yeah no that that seems like an oversight um just add a little just make, don't make him shoot just make him stop shooting for that time. Yeah, that needs to happen with literally every boss. Like, stop making them shoot when they're going to a different phase and they zip to a spot. Yeah, it's only whenever that zip happens. Like, I noticed for a lot of monsters, they do it like that. But for that one, it's like, dude. Oh, this guy was wearing a it. red dye and I thought an abyss portal spawned. <laughs> Would you have gone in? I tried. <laughs> Didn't work. Is it a raccoon? Yeah. I'll get him out of here. It's fine. I shot him. What is this over the hedge? You know, I remember watching that movie and liking it, and I have no recollection of what happens in that movie. Me either. I same thing. I watched it in an after school care program. And then so like I wasn't fully paying attention. But yeah, they like steal food. Like something with like their home is being threatened because like yeah I have no idea what happens in Over the Hedge <laughs> That's weird, isn't it? I haven't seen it in probably like 15 years but man I just had like some serious memory flush of being a kid and like sitting on the floor watching the TV of the movie and then like just how it you had a different mental space as a kid. You were you were aware of different things. If I sat on that floor and watched a movie now, the stuff I would think about and the way I would think about it would be completely different. Yeah. Like your priorities are so different. Yeah, same with me. Like I remember like <laughs> I remember going and walking into a classroom because our teacher took us there. And on the screen, they went into one of the kids' mouths in Magic School Bus to oh, like yeah. go into his body. And back then, I would have been like, dude, this is magical. Now I'd be like, dude, that's Vor. <laughs> and things wouldn't be as magical anymore. We're not pure anymore. Exactly. We lost our purity. <laughs> in a lot of ways, it's true. You'll think something is suggestive, and then it's like, no, you're just kind of perverted. <laughs> like... You suck. Yeah, it's me that's the problem. <laughs> oh, yeah. I hate that. Boss room, I do too. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, sometimes it's simple. Well, it's definitely simpler to be a kid. I mean, growing up has its perks, but of course, it has its drawbacks. It's always a give and take. 99% drawbacks. The only non-drawback <laughs> is the fact that we don't have to go to a terrible, terrible school. <laughs> yeah, and I like my school, so it's 100% drawback. <laughs> God. I don't hey, understand how anyone could possibly like school, but that, once again, that's just me. Yeah, hey, you probably, just probably didn't have a great school. I didn't. Yeah, there you go. I had, a cr I had crappy teachers that I didn't want to work for, that were just mean people. I didn't want to work for. Uh, and then, no, it's funny. My dad used to say, Matt, 
you have like 90s in this class and like 20s in this one. And how old are you at this time? I was like high school age. Okay, that, so make, like, that makes sense. Yeah. I'm thinking yeah. like you're being a rebel at the age of five. I'm just like, what? No, I was like, this was like high school. I'm saying like... No, that makes sense. Just... Because that's when you, you know, <laughs> you develop sentience. <laughs> <laughs> oh, T-Room. It's like... Oh, I'm going. I found nice. it this time. Um, it's just one of those things where it's like, well, first off, if I don't like the teacher, I'm not going to do good in the class. See, that's your first like mistake. <laughs> Yeah. That judgment call will send you to an early grave. Well, it's not just the teacher. It's the fact that if I also don't like the subject, I don't care about it. Right. That which I do good it Because I do not care about it. Which no, none of us do. Right. No, nobody wants to, to learn the quadratic equation. Right. So I just didn't. That might not be the best way to go around it, but it's just like I didn't like yeah. it. Well, yeah. And no then, and then the, your grades probably suffered because of that. Right. Exactly. Even as a kid, I, I like knew. I was like, this is stupid. I, like, I do not need to do this. Right. And if, you know, yeah. That's that's the whole thing, right? If you don't want to do the work, you don't get the grade. And that's school. It's funny. I remember my dad actually telling me a story of when he had a parent teacher conference with them. And I, like, the teacher that I had in 90s, like a 90, in which was an English class. And the 20, which was a math class. Yeah, yeah. They were like, they were talking about me. 20, holy crap. <laughs> Jeez. And the, well, it probably wasn't like a 20. It's probably like a 50 or something. I just, I'm exaggerating. And the math teacher was like going on and on. Like I wasn't there, but my dad was telling me like she was going on and on about how like I just would not pay attention. I was like this terrible kid. And the English <laughs> teacher was like, are we, t are we talking about the same kid? Like... <laughs> Oh wow! Yeah, he's like, he's like, that's not what I get at all in my class. And I was just like, selective thinking, application. Yeah. It's, it's just one of those things, man. No, I get it. I mean, yeah, that's how I am now. Like with college, I was like, I mean, I don't want to take this class. I'm not going to be into it. Like, I don't want to get this degree because I don't want to get a job in this field. Like now, you have a choice. Now it's it's your money. So you're allowed to be picky, but when it came to public school, it's like, well, I have to go, and I want to do well because I'll feel bad if I don't. So, the <laughs> there are my options. <laughs> I can either do well, do poorly and feel bad, or try to do well and. Well, that's the problem, right? Like that's why I hate like open school systems like that because it's like, well, who are you feeling bad for? You know, you're feeling bad because you don't want your parents to be disappointed. I'm not sure if that was why. At that point, well, once I got to high school, it's just like, it's the right thing to do. So I'm like, oh yeah, I'm going to do well. I'm going to get a good grade because it looks like you don't care when you don't get a good grade. I just feel like the love of learning should be there. It just isn't because of like how corrupt the school system's gotten. <laughs> Where the heck did you open that? Oh. Oh, there it is. Okay. Um, yeah, I mean, it's, yeah, school could teach us stuff that's more useful, 100%. I would have rather preferred they taught me how to write a check. <laughs> yeah. Definitely useful stuff. I mean, that stuff comes later. You can't really teach that yeah. for, like, elementary and all that. Um. Because. T-Room. It's a tough one, because some of it is necessary. Like, obviously, you need basic math. So you don't want to be a, an idiot whenever you graduate, but... Stimpy. <laughs> you idiot. <laughs> <laughs> Patrick, do you know what this is? Stimpy? <laughs> no, I'm Texas. <laughs> wow, that was two different episodes. <laughs> <laughs> I was going for the alien one, and you went to Texas. Holy smokes. That's two different episodes. What's the difference? <laughs> Incredible. Did you see that new uh, no. battle for Bikini Bottom that they're doing? I mean, I've known about it for a while, but is it finally... Do they come out with a release date? Not that I know of. Okay. Like they showed off like the trailers and stuff of what it's going to look like, and it's nice. amazing. Yeah, it's super saturated. It is. It's crazy.
They're not gonna tone that down. But. Snake bit open by yin yard. I never really played the game as a kid. I, I didn't get far. I don't know how far I got. I got the rock bottom, I think. Because I rented I it from it. Blockbuster and then never rented it again. I, somehow I, I don't. We forgot, I guess. It was one of those games that I thought for sure was going to suck and then it didn't. <laughs> When you because, first played it or revisited it? Right. No, when I when I first played it, like the first time when I was younger. Oh, that's funny that you even, even would have that conception in your head. Well, because the thing was, I played games like the Little Nemo GameCube game, Tea Room, and you didn't that like game it. Sucked, and a lot of the games that I played that were based off of movies, yeah. or cartoons, sucked. Right. So I had this thought in my mind, like, oh, this is gonna suck because. Like this is gonna right. this is going to be the suck penis and balls game because all of these games suck equally hard. Because <laughs> they're licensed, yeah. yeah. They're made for money. Money, 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 money. It surprised me when it didn't. Yeah, yeah, they took care of the SpongeBob game. It's a Game Boy version of it. I never got to play that one. Me either. But I think I do remember that. It's pretty common with License tie-ins because they want to make money. <laughs> yeah, that's true. Also, was. Uh, but yeah, multi-platform stuff. I mean, that's that's fairly common. Although in this day and age, now that's kind of a foreign concept. You don't release a game on a handheld and a console at the same time because now the only handheld consoles are Nintendo. Yeah, and it's a 3DS and. Everything's exclusive, so Sony's not going to have their stuff on Nintendo, and and they just can't run it. Like games are so advanced now, you you can't possibly port or even waste time building a game from the ground up on that hardware. Yeah, which is kind of weird, isn't it? Like that's yeah, it's kind of out there. Times have changed. Smoking. That was the mask. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Remember that part where, like, the guy, the mask, like, walks into the bar and just hears that music playing, and it's like... Dun, 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 dun. <laughs> it's crazy. I will make this my last batch of snakes before the night. Sounds good. My batch of snakes. Yeah. <laughs> I demand... Oh, I should have... Eat another clover. I only have two minutes left. We have to um, get that bulwark, man. They buff the drop rates. Apparently not. <laughs> you have to do 400 more before we see the results. I don't need it. But I need it. What do you even need a bulwark for? <laughs> <laughs> My other sorcerer and priest. Ah, uh, yes, good point. I forget if I have one or two. I think I've only ever had two, so... Probably one. I imagine I would have had to lost it at... Had to have lost it at some point. If I was smart, I'd be going for Foamy. But I'm not, so... Bulwark. Oh, that's true. Labs take longer, but... Yeah. So, in a sense, this is more efficient. And if you really need speed... I don't. Then you made the wrong choice. <laughs> but I don't need Wiz either, so... That's true. I Yeah, I think I need turn Wisdom around, even... Around. Oh, I see where you are. I see you, Lumen. Yeah, we need <laughs> Wisdom even less than Speed. I still have an, a potion or a candy of Extreme Maxing, I think, for Wisdom. I think I have several, and I don't use them because <laughs> I want to always the... get Vault Space. And you always have enough Wiz to max. Mm -hmm. <laughs> because it drops everywhere. Turns out, I hit Realm of the Mad God. <laughs> <laughs> Dear I God. can't stand playing it. I much prefer sitting. <laughs> I always have to sit. That was Honestly. an incredible post. I'm surprised you... how many people like that one. <laughs> yeah, me too. Everybody <laughs> likes a good pun every now and then. Yeah. That's not a bulwark. 
I gotta say, Snake Pit's just one of those dungeons that I don't care where I am, I just run it. Yeah. Yeah, I've always loved the Snake Pit. It's, it's easy. You just breeze through it. Chance of bulwark, there's nothing bad about it. <laughs> yeah, and it was something you could always breeze through. Yeah. It's always been there for you. Reliable. And nice. now it drops from even more places than it ever has. It's true. It's now Medusa's properly. Drop it. There's a chance that there's a tea room down at the entrance, but I don't know if you want to go back down there. Mm. Sounds like a bit of a walk. It does. Uh, there's a chance, but uh, I'm just gonna say fit. The only video that exists of Wabbit season now is a reaction video. And I don't even know if they can keep that up. I feel like that's gonna get taken down, too. Yeah, it's hard to say. My Plankton Stupid. Crabs video got copyright claimed. It, it nothing's wrong with the video, it can still be viewed, but... It's kind of funny. I know it's just because the video is the same, but... I like to take it as a compliment to my impressions. <laughs> I actually didn't even know that it got taken down. Or not taken down, but copyright strike. Yeah, you, you wouldn't be able to tell, because I'm not even monetizing it, so. That was the last one, by the way. We're done. <laughs> yes! I mean, thank you. Yep. It's been no a pleasure. Bulwark. It hasn't. No bulwark. You're right. <laughs> but if I check the vault real quick. Do you still have one? Do I still have what, a vault? Yeah. Well, you suck. Bulwark. No, I lost mine in the Great War of 1982. It's an interesting... Hopefully they come up with vitality modification eventually. But then they have to be careful because melees have the highest bit. Yes, they do. Unless it only works for specific classes. Just like how Wizmod is only on a few classes. Because it's ability-based. Thank you guys so much for watching. It's late. We're gonna go to sleep! It was fun! We did snake pits. I hope you enjoyed this commentary. I know a lot of you were asking to bring back the longer stuff, so hopefully this <laughs> satiated you. Have a good night. Thanks, man. You too. Yeah, sweet. <laughs> <laughs> My chair is so squeaky. I don't know what happened. It, like, got extra squeaky in the last few days. I think it's gonna fall apart one day when I'm sitting on it. <laughs> <laughs> it's gonna be like a family guy fall <laughs> two frames all right see ya